Super Liminal, which is a game about uh, uh, perspective. As you can already see, there's like a tiny, a tiny uh, ladder, and then you got like tiny shelves, and then you got these big things. I don't really know what to expect other than it's perspective based. Are you filled with feelings of self-doubt? Yes. Do you find yourself prone to minimizing massive dilemmas? Yes. Or for allowing the smallest problems to get blown completely out of proportion? Yeah. At the Pierce Institute, our patent pending Somnusculpt technology provides safe and effective dream therapy while you rest in the comfort of our flagship clinic. That's us. Located right next to the secondary overflow parking lot at the University Medical Center. Somnusculpt will make your dreams come true. Yeah, this place... This looks like every West Virginian Motel 6 that I've stayed in in my entire life, which is exactly two. Good. We've got simple controls that are written on the wall. Oh, no. I'm getting real strong Stanley Parable vibes, which were, at, like, one of my favorite games. But we got a Terms of Service, which I did not read, um... Wait, does that say security deposit of 150 bucks? Well. Great. Looks like we're going. Long ass hallway though, I'll tell you that much. Okay, first things first. Perception is reality, grab. You know what's funny? This looks like it was written with somebody's mouse in Microsoft Paint, right? Nobody writes like that. Like, look at how janky that R is. Alright, per perception is reality. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bigger! 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 Behold, the chonky boy. Where'd that piece of paper go, though? Aha, okay. So, in order to make this small, I just walk with it. See? And then I get... Holy shit, you have some ups in this game. It's funny, because games like this, usually, you jump and you're just like... <laughs> you jump and it's just like, eh... No, you got some height. Look. You can straight up vertical jump on two boxes. Let's go. Exit sign. Sick. Terms of service accepted. Congratulations on falling asleep. Wait. Welcome to Somnasculpt. Your progress may be monitored by qualified specialists. This orientation will adapt you to eyelids, our interactive, lucid induction dream state in which you retain full consciousness and control. That's creepy. So, can I only do this? Because if I'm lucid dreaming, like, where's the anime titty? Dude. I could make the biggest anime titties possible if you let me. Just come on. Spawn one in. Hold right click to rotate. I got it. Perfect. So what exactly am I going to do? What do you want me to do here? You want me to... You want me to... You want me to get up here? Hmm. 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 There, look, and look, I've got the vertical for it. <laughs> it's just... You can jump so high. This puzzle game is gonna be right down my alley. I know that usually I struggle with anything involving large b brain activity. No objects beyond this point at all times. You wait. Shouldn't it be no objects beyond this point at any time? Oh shit, no, it's so cute. Look how cute it is. Look how little it is. All right, that's fine. Oh, I see. I see. So, if it's all about perspective, uh, do I see? No objects beyond this point at any time. Okay. So, 
I can't grab that. All right, so it's already the first. <laughs> we've already fucked up the. F not fucked it up, but like, I gotta figure out how do I how do I get how do I get. <laughs> Come on, just let me strafe in. Door stuck. Wait, wait. Okay, wait. This is actually a problem. Oh no. What if I'm actually stuck because I've now okay. What about over here? Wait, what if I... No? Oh, yeah. Wait. <laughs> Bruh, come, talk, come, talk. Listen, my guy, we got, we really got to think about how we're going to use our brain cells today, okay? Because that was not the right method. To try and block the door, uh, it's fine. Oh, I need this. Perfect. Uh, I'm gonna need to get up there, so let's just back this up, put it down. I actually wonder how they coded this game, because it's kind of interesting how everything, like, it's a cool idea, cool concept. Next up, what do we got? Paint can. Confirmed. You can move freely, interact with surrounding objects, and listen to messages from your patient care team. Please note that I am the standard orientation protocol, and that my voice has been explicitly chosen to remind you that I am not a part of your patient care team. You sound like- I do not care. You sound like a part of my patient team. And honestly, if you don't care about me, that's fine, but I definitely care about you. Alright, so, this is confusing. Jesus Christ. <laughs> my brain. Uh, so we have a we have a pawn in an in interrogation room. Well, this seems pretty reasonable. Right, and then I just oh my god, I'm a genius. Only on Mondays though. I took a new lease out on all my brain cells today. That's a high door. Uh, hold and right click to rotate, sure. Oh, it's cheese. So then I walk up, walk back. That's a big ass ramp of cheese, <laughs> fuck. Uh, attention everyone, I've solved, uh, world hunger. You're all welcome. Well, hold on. <sighs> Sick. During eyelids, you will lose the ability to awaken suddenly due to realizing that this is a dream. Evidence, I have already informed you that this is a dream. You did not wake up. Please complete the remaining orientation activities. I'm just gonna be frank with you. This seems like it's perfectly set up for a scary game, you know? Like, I feel like whenever you say, hey, listen, I've removed the ability for you to, you know, save yourself from getting killed inside this dream, it's not a good idea. Is this a scary game? This isn't a scary game. It's not a scary game. Uh, where do I have to go? Put it down in here. It's so cute. <laughs> How dense is that block? Uh, uh. Perfect. I'm going the creepy way. Warning. You have deviated from the orientation pathway. At the Pierce Institute, patient safety is a keynote in our corporate priority tetrahedron. A variable degree of force can and will be authorized to ensure patient safety. Please return to the orientation pathway. But, but dream soda, dude. Do we want water soda? Wait, that's baking soda, diet soda, random soda. You know I gotta stay strapped with my water soda. Um, 
Something tells me. Wait. There's got to be. That is a big old can. Is there anything secret that I can do over here? Can't grab that, that. <clears throat> Hello? Sorry. Use my security deposit for that, okay? What does it say? Sm so so smooth and what? And red. <laughs> what does it say? Don't be a fool. Hydrate. This is game of the year right here. I wonder if I could like climb out. No. Okay. Guy, look, hey, it just, it's re its really uncomfortable. I play a lot of horror games, and this is how a lot of them are set up. I'm just letting, I'm just letting you know. This is not a good setup. How am I gonna... Hmm. Hmm. Can I just break... Just like break it? No. Oh, I see what I gotta do. You know, make it smaller. Oh. Do I? Ta da! Doesn't matter. I sorted it out. All environments perceived during eyelids should reflect a typical mental state. If you believe your mental state was compromised by Somnasculpt, please provide a comprehensive, rational explanation in your post-procedural survey. Completed surveys may be eligible for a gift card. Ooh! You hear that? A gift card! That's pretty sick! Um... I'm thinking I need to somehow get it up there and throw it over there or something like that. So what if I make it smaller? Uh, super small? Uh, uh. Hey! Okay, I was <laughs> like, where'd it get stuck? Hey, big brain. Zero problems. What? No items. People without items beyond this point will be fine. People beyond this point with objects will be fine. Shit. Peace smart. Thanks for not objecting. That's ha <laughs> ha stupid. This game's got like GLaDOS, Portal, uh, Stanley Parable vibes all over it. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's one of these. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's cool. Um, that's not cool. So that opens that door. This opens this door. But then I can't... <laughs> the sign was loose all along. Alright, so what if I... Put... That there? And then I... Oh! Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I mean, I don't really know what I'm gonna do. Actually, I do know what I'm gonna do. Let's make this big as shit. Make it a big boy. And I'm gonna just lay it across both of them. But it's gotta be a bit. But it's gotta be a big boy! It's gotta be as big as possible. No! Listen, Linda! Alright? 
Uh. Oh, god damn it. I can't push it down? Uh. Fuck! I'm a genius. I was born to be a genius. Actually, I don't think you can be... <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's how geniuses are made, you know? You're just generally- Please stand by for polite recognition on your completion of the Somnasculpt orientation. You did it. To maximize the time allotted for your therapeutic journey, please do not delay in proceeding through the final doorway as indicated. I'm gonna delay. This looks sus. It's cause it is sus. I'm not, I'm, I'm delaying for sure. Alright, grab the exit sign. I need you. I'm gonna need the stinky cheese. Or something. Well, see, you... Can I just disassemble the brick wall? No? Can't move that. What if I put the... I'm just like, what if I put the exit sign on a different door? Um, so that looks like the exit that I need to go. What am I going to do with the cheese? Cheese is down. Uh, I can't see anything through here. Wait. Can I? What if I use the cheese to... What if I use the cheese to get up there, higher up, or something like that? Make the cheese big. Make the cheese big again. Okay. You see what I'm saying? And then we... And then we... So, I need you to be large and in charge. Oh! I'm not paying for that. I'm not... You. That's on you guys. Really poorly constructed building here. Alright. What's... Can't go there. Can't go there. Nothing. Looks like they've taken my home and put it in here. I wonder if I could just, like, push them down in general. No. Alright. Shall we? Like, why do they have such a big facility for a dream center? Also, who dreams like this? You guys are... Well, I was going to say game of the year, but then it ran out. Alright. Ah! Oh, shit! What the fuck kind of loading bar is this? <laughs> this is obnoxious. Ah, uh, finally. Back in my home. Where I belong. At 3 a.m. With my clouds and my bed and my alarm clock and my really creepy painting. Okay. Mm hmm. Let me in. Yes, yeah, sir. I'm just gonna go ahead and let you know that's uh, not a, that's not up to code. That's a fire hazard. But I am glad that still kind of works, you know. So at least you got that going for you. What else we got here? Receptionist office. Some more dream soda.
who builds the Dream Soda group really fucking suck. I'm gonna just be honest with you guys, none of their stuff works. What does this say? Smooth. Great. It's just a bunch of questions. Imagine getting like a ri ugh. You know how they used to do that with airheads? It'd be like, just guess the flavor. I'm convinced that there was no actual flavor. They just mixed a bunch of flavors together and they're like, this will surely get the kids to drink it or eat it. This is kind of nice. All right, I'm not staying here, guys. It's like the leftover flavors from all the other batches that they just put together, and they're like, this is... That is not how... Uh, what? Who numbered these? Awful. Eh, I'm not ready to leave yet. Ooh. Do we exit or do we go down the hallway? <clears throat> I'm going down the hallway. Oh! <laughs> well, that's... Well, that's, uh, not what I expected. What if I... No? Okay, what if I... <laughs> I don't know. Okay, fine, don't worry. Oh! I don't know if this is actually something I need to do, but I'm trying to give you a door. All right, well, fuck you, man. Unless, wait, wait, what if I... What if I just left? See? <laughs> Sorry. This game is uh confusing in all the all the right ways. It's making my brain tingle. I will always check every single fire hydrant. I'll check fire hydrant. I mean fire extinguisher. I'll check every single fire alarm. I will make sure that's fucky. What the hell? That's that's so annoying. Perfect. Oh. God damn it. Oh. <laughs> oh, my head hurt. Hold on one sec. Let me let me make sure I'm not missing. I didn't. I don't think I. Oh, I did go over there. Weird. I'm high on perspective, baby. This is what acid must be like. All right. Uh. Can't go there. Almost let these two escape. Oh, I have to get out. I'm assuming. Uh, what's gonna be the easiest way for me to prop this up like this? Sure. Nope. No, I mean, yeah, but no. I mean, yeah, but nah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Perfect. All right, just let's make sure we didn't miss anything. I think they probably wanted you to just stack it like one on top of each. Wait. Never mind. One on top of each other. I'm just like, no. <laughs> oh, sick. Oh. New cube design. I'm a pirate. Eggshell. Materials. Aluminum plastic. Symmetrical layout. Projection. Cloud insert. Okay. Sick. 
how to start I wish I could zoom in I'm just curious what's over here <laughs> wouldn't you believe it's nothing all right um maybe some music hello my name is dr. Glenn Pierce and I'd like to talk to you about being special <laughs> so special in fact that we have no idea where you are that's terrifying worry. we're working on it Is that it that was not reassuring you are such a special boy we've lost you that's how special you are all right cool let me um can I walk up this oh oh I'll tell you where I need to go I'm going up there. I don't know how I'm gonna go up there, but I'm going up there. You know? Uh, can I make a bridge? Of sort, you know what, I'll just, I need you to be flat. Things that I usually don't say to women. Sick, now all I have to do is get on top of it. Fucking awesome! I need to get another sign from in there. Which I can do. Why don't I just go over here? Huh? You son of a bitch, you stupid shit, you idiot. Ugh. Are we getting up there in size? What? I, I'm just trying to build a rectangle to get up there, you know? Nope, need you. No, oh. Alright, you're now big enough. Wait, now, fuck. I, I keep forgetting that, I, that it's gonna shrink. How am I supposed to. F no! Wait, this is it. No! This is it. Wrong way. This is it. Alright, this is it. Right here? That's it. Not ready? Perfect. Now. Now. You know what? Oh, you're a big boy! Oh, you're a big boy with a pl- There's no reason for me to be up here, is there? You son of a bitch. Okay, don't worry about it. It's fine. I'm not upset. I just all I have to do is just go through this door. I was just making sure I was missing anything. Don't worry. Just trying to get a grasp on how to do perspective-based uh, problems. Just making sure the doors don't matter. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. It's a nice ceiling, Titty. Oh no. All right, I already. Oh fuck it! No, 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 no! Perfect. This is gonna be great. Super easy for me to do. None of these are good enough to work. I swear. Yep. There we go. Um, what now? Here's some high ceilings. Holy shit. Okay, fine. Um, I'm gonna have to get a. V oh. 
Wait, but it's just painted on the wall. Oh, fuck off. So I have to get a vase and put the vase over there. But I can't move that. What if I... Right? I have to get a... Hmm. What is this? Oh! <laughs> oh, God. My poor brain. I was born with a brain not quite big enough for this, I'll tell you that much. How am I going to get up on that, though, without another object? You know? What about... What about... What about... What about... Oh! What the fuck? Ah! Ha! Ooh. Perfect. Who builds a cube like this? <laughs> Please. That's a boy. Yeah, this game like Anti-Chamber, except Anti-Chamber is way harder. I didn't even finish that game. That game was nuts. Okay. The exit, I'm gonna have to be up there, I guess, which means... Yoink. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and keep this with me. Rotate it. Bend down, flip it, reverse it. I thought I had done something wrong. I was like, oh no. Uh, oh wait, hold on. I gotta I can't I can't let this fire extinguisher go untested, alright? Still doesn't work, believe it or not. Alright, another room. At least they have like soothing music and shit, you know? Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And I'm just popping in to give you a quick update on where you are. Where am I? We still don't know. Fuck. But please keep moving forward, and hopefully you prefer frequent updates to being reminded that you are completely lost. Yep. I mean, that, in general, would be the thing that I prefer. Um. Okay, I don't think I'm missing anything here. Ooh. Ooh, 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 okay, we're getting complicated here. So I gotta get up there, which means we've got to grab this cube. Is this a cube with stairs? It is not. Shit. Oh, wait, I can just do this then. We go over here. We get ourselves a. What is this? A pawn? Get our. <laughs> look, hey, 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 look. I'm not in the business of telling you what is and isn't a good idea to build into your building, but this cutout seems really short sighted. It's a bishop. You're right. It's not a pawn. You know what? Shut up. Who plays chess? Not me. I'm not a nerd. What kind of nerd plays chess? Oh. I see. Do I see? Well, this is just fucking me up right now. Can I go in here? No, of course not. Okay. More updates telling me that I'm lost. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and we still can't find you. Thanks. But you should now have access to a series of elevators that should trigger your subconscious to gradually wake you up. Sick. You should also find a variety of emergency exit signs that should lead you to them. Will all of this work? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. How many emergency exit signs? Ha! Ah! Ah! 
don't know, man. It's kind of nice out here. Not a bad hotel lobby. Good light. Good natural light. Full moon. Vampire uh, or werewolf season. I hope there's like an achievement for this because I doubt there is, but... Um... I don't see a single emergency exit sign. Oh, wait, I can probably, wait, can I grab the ones from under, no, because you can't bring anything through here, right? I mean, I wish you could, because I, because that's what I thought. Shit! Something to do with these pillars? It's just a plywood wall. Can I... The windows are propped open. Can I like... I can't grab the window. Um... What about the... Ah! <laughs> well, that seems really irresponsible. All right, uh, I, I now have the moon. Um, and so we have this, which we can make pretty big. And then we hit escape. So I could go over here and I could do this and I could do this. I get subscribers only, the chat, okay? Because people are stupid and I could go here. And then I can make a giant ass wedge. Do I even need a, wait, 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 talk to me. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In the event that this elevator does not wake you up, please don't interact with anything that strikes you as psychologically significant, as we will no longer have any way of controlling it. For example, if you see your parents, please punch them in the face as hard as you can and immediately run away. Um... Yeah, so, I mean... I, I'm gonna put the moon back. You know, I just feel like I should put the moon back in the sky. There you go. <laughs> ah! I think that's probably the- it's for the best, you know? I don't know if I need to be... I don't know if I can even get out of here, can I? Am I thinking too much about this? Probably. Do I need, I definitely feel like I should get up there somehow. I just don't know how I'm gonna do that. No! Oh, you know what I'll do? Holy shit! Sick. <laughs> oh, what is going on in this game? <laughs> you know what? That doesn't seem like such a bad way to go, just sticking your hand inside of a high voltage outlet. Don't get lost. Beer fun, five dollars, Dakota. Regular person, three to five dreams per night. What if there's a fire in an elevator? Don't meet sister-in-law. What do you mean? Stepsis. Nice elevator though. Seize the day. Other Somnusculpt resorts are waiting for you. Oh, the French. We all, hey, no. It's 
It's been an hour. I'm getting some awful sleep tonight, it seems. I had some awful sleep last night. I dreamed I broke my laptop. Don't know why or what significance that means, but I dreamed it. <laughs> Nothing's changed in here. Same old, same old. Rip. I don't believe in dreams, but I do believe in our infinitely stacked pallets. This is an automated message for all patients who attempted to use an alternate pathway to access the next phase of Somnasculpt therapy, but who have become trapped in a dream state paradox instead. That's me! Your decisions imply a failure of orientation, which reflects negatively on the standard orientation protocol. Okay. You will mm -hmm. rectify this failure immediately. If you say so. All right, there's a dice yield sign. Some soundproof foam, bet. A water fountain that doesn't work. You thought you could slip by me. Old little monitor. Perception is reality, your friendly doctor. PS will get through this. It's March 1991. Fuck, dude, that's two years before I was born. Hey, look, my birthday, but two years prior to where I was born. I was born on a Tuesday. Sick, I can't, I don't understand. Uh, okay, nothing. Oh, here's a dice. A die. Good to go. Kind of looks like Mickey Mouse. Uh, ooh. Okay, another one. You think that's high enough? Probably. Ooh. A water cooler. And when you look through the uh, through the cracks, it actually I don't know. There's shit back here. Am I gonna miss something? Oh, I probably had to <laughs> probably want me to like put them together. Wait, you know what? I will put you together. Damn it! All right, whatever. That's cool. That's cool. Don't worry. I didn't waste any time. Ah! Hmm. What if we don't go down there just yet? It wants me to go down there. But what if I didn't do that? You think there's any way to get through there? What if I did this? Well, <laughs> shit, it's a little small. Sorry, I'm gonna take it with me though. Hmm, <laughs> the great escape. Colorized. Actually, that movie was in color, wasn't it? Holy fuck, what the? Professional tip, the average adult can only withstand three to five dreams per night. Once this threshold is eclipsed by entering more dreams, your mind will suffer an explosive mental overload, reorienting you for the emergency exit protocol. Please subject yourself to explosive mental overload. Also known as a wet dream, right? Am I right? Where are them anime titties at? Let's go. Also three to five dreams a night, BS. You know, these dice don't, 
I don't think these dice look like uh, they're gonna work right. Shit. <laughs> I was like, well, uh, what if I just grabbed them? What if I just... Did I miss a... Sorted. So far, I'm not gonna lie. What? What? <laughs> ah. I see. Alright, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna drag that one up. And then I'm gonna, and I'm gonna what? Then what am I gonna do? I'm gonna, I need to get up there, right? So in order to get up there, what if I, that doesn't affect anything. Putting these all the way to the top don't do anything. What if I put this all the way on the ground? And this all the way out? Ooh. And then I'm, now I'm just good? <laughs> what a jump! You know? Please note that a reluctance to volunteer for the risks associated with explosive mental overload implies a misunderstanding of all other solutions, all of which are far more traumatic and likelier to result in catastrophe. I am not capable of suboptimal suggestions. Please exit this dream as soon as possible. Yeah, I'm starting to think that I'm fucked here. I'm starting to think there's no anime titty. Like, imagine, like, Alien just comes down from the vent, and you're like, I thought this wasn't a horror game. Oh, shit. Well, normally that, normally this would be a problem. But today it is not a problem. Uh, okay, okay, all right, well. All right, no, that's cool. Is that gonna work? Surely not. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. Oh, no, 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 door stuck. Ooh. I'm a hardcore parkour master. All right, next up. We have stairs, we have, where do I need to go? Okay, uh... I found it? Oh! Surprise! Well, this is interesting. Can I, do I, do you want me to, oh, I can't go back up there. Ah, uh, yes, just exactly as I predicted. Testers, Jonas Dawson, Arthur Willis, Jojo Smith. Holy shit, Jojo. I am here. I need to go one, two, three, four, five layers up. Sick, cool. People only dream of ordinary objects. Boring. What about cat girls? What about fulfilling friendships that last for the entirety of your life? How about that? No? That'd be fun. All right, it's 5 a.m. now, sick. Yeah, I have no idea how this game works programming-wise because it's really interesting. Like, I, I would love to know how they kind of set, set it all up because just the whole, the entire thing is sick. Really cool concept. Hello, 
Hi. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. I know. And despite touring the Waterfall Serenity Zone in the previous section you've just completed, you may still be experiencing feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt. Why do I feel like everything is going wrong, even when the sun is shining? Very targeted. Um, I'll reflect on that and I'll get back to you. You know? Yeah, it's a creepy looking hallway. Can't go there, can't go there. But... I'd prefer if we didn't do this. You know? Very dark. Very dark. What you guys got going on over here? Can't see nothing. Great. Emergency generator this way. Dude, it is a horror game. This is how they always happen, right? It's like the power goes out and I'm gonna have to go downstairs and there's flickering lights. And it's dark. And the road's closed. Yeah, what? <laughs> this is too good to be true. This is this is gonna be like a painting on the wall or something. Or not. But it was too good to be true. Now we're in what? Cold storage facility? Which is just also a terrifying place to be. One of my, like, uh, fears... Did I just see a hand? Oh, I did. One of my fears was always getting locked in a cold storage facility when I was working at a fast food place. I was like, no, nah, I'd rather not die this way. Come on, man! I <laughs> This isn't supposed to be a horror game! You know, it... <laughs> Fuck! Nobody is getting out of there. No one. You you hear me? Sick. Imagine playing this game in in VR. Why do you guys have the horror hallway sound effect 4.wav playing right now, huh? What's going on? <laughs> Sunday is for the beans. Okay. Well, I'm in here. Was I supposed to be in here? All right, let me try and figure this out. As if I was just not gonna try and figure it out. Uh, we have two lights that I can't open. Or that I can't pick up. We have this that I can't move, two tables I can't move. Is it a perspective-based one? I think it might be. I can't block one of the lights. Um... Okay. Oh. 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 I I I see. There's no wall. It's it's just an empty space that I can go through. Ah, yes, of course. Naturally. Um I see the... I s huh, you think that's fucking clever, do you, game, huh? You, th you think that little wordplay is clever? Well, it's not. It's slightly alarming to players like me. Alright? You know?
Yeah, it just, it just looks like jelly, you know? It doesn't even look like good blood. Huh, that's nuts. I'm going this way. <laughs> I'm not going that way. Okay, I am going this way. But, uh, that's a wall. Can I not go up the vents? No. All right, fuck it. Oh! Good thing I looked. That doesn't look safe. It is, it's hard to see. Oh. Thanks for turning that on, whoever did that. I appreciate it. Not so hard to see now. What do you got for me, doctor? Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to talk more about the feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt I mentioned before. Sure. You feel this way because you want the kind of happy life you see all around you, the kind you know everyone else is enjoying. Seems fair. And that's exactly why we're here to help. Really? So, so what is this, exposure therapy? Like... Well, at least you're not getting murdered brutally in your dreams, so, like, it can't be that bad, said the video game. See, this is the kind of courteous killer I like. They lay a tarp down, make it easy to clean up. It's a mannequin. It's a pawn. But a real smooth pawn. That ain't no cyber truck pawn. <clears throat> Diet soda. Are you trying to tell me something? You saying I'm fat? I just went to the gym today. I'm shredded. Sick. Oh, that's helpful. <laughs> like, I can't see she- Oh, right. I can't see anything. Warning. You were advised to subject yourself to explosive mental overload by descending into additional dreams, but have now descended into a dream within a dream instead, disorienting Inception. yourself even further. Sweet. You are responsible for failing to make this crucial distinction. Well, thanks, Mom. And how did I get here in the first place, huh? Ooh. Perfect. I love the color red. <clears throat> oh, look, I got a flashlight. Perfect. All right, well, I really thought that this was gonna... Um, nothing there. Nothing there. Out here? <laughs> Yo, this game is kind of nuts. I mean, not kind of, it is nuts. I'm just glad I got myself a little flashlight, little, little, little red boy. Thanks, bud. You did well. Okay, next up we have more blood. Who is bleeding this much? That's a lot of blood. Oh, my bad. Hmm. I'm assuming it's through here then? No. Can I... Can I... Can I take this with me and go somewhere else? No? Ok. 
Can I put it over here? No. Can I drag it through somehow? Hmm. Can I shine a light through? You know what I mean? I'm trying to make it as bright as fucking po Hey, look, it looks like a monster. That's not scary at all. <laughs> Number one! Put your ones up. Does that, I mean, come on, look at that. Like. Okay. Anyways, I guess we'll keep looking here. What about, um, yeah, it just doesn't permeate. So I tried going through here and I can't see anything. Can I jump? I can't, I can't. Oh, oh, ha ha, oh, ha ha. Did you know that unintentional multi-dream layering occurs in less than 1% of patients? This correlates strongly with the 99% of patients who are able to follow simple instructions from the standard orientation protocol. Great. Thanks. Uh, I'm, I'm glad that you have a little sass in you, you know? Can I grab the knife? Of course not, but I can turn off the flashlight and then the knife is gone. So that's troublesome. Again, just like if you would have carried your victim with you, I feel like it would be a lot easier and less messy. IKEA! I mean, IDEA! Definitely not copyright. It was like daylight out the whole time. Sweet. Can I go in here? Kind of want to go around and explore a little bit, you know? What about... No? Okay. Oh, it was just paint! Oh! It was just paint. It's real. Yeah, it's lagging for me too. I, 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 I don't, I don't know what's going on. It was that area. It was laggy. Nothing wrong. Just a bunch of paint. Still waiting for one of those to actually work. Like at the end, I'm gonna pull it and it's gonna freak me out. Enjoy avocados. I trust me. I definitely do my share of enjoyment with avocados. Love my guacamole. Big fan. Big fan. There's far too many alarm clocks. Actually, I guess that's a real-life representation of what my cell phone looks like when I have to get up early. It's just like nine alarms. These people are going to come back and be so pissed off that none of their soda machines work and they're all out of fire extinguishers. So that's bolted down on the floor. No way. So how do I get it? So, <clears throat> so let me just 
try and get this straight here. Um... Hitting right click sucks it back. Right. So how do I use this to my benefit? He said while thinking out loud. I can't grab that. Was there something back here I could have done? No. Oh, I can grab the door. I was gonna, I was straight up gonna make a trail of them. Probably crash the game entirely. This reminds me of like an art gallery. Every single hallway like this, you know? Uh, anybody else getting deja vu? Like I've just been in this place before. <laughs> Dominoes! All right. Well, that's kind of cool. Oh, I had the right idea. <laughs> I'm a genius. My brain is huge. I'm a genius. And, okay. Huh. Attention, Dr. Pierce requires you to note the following risks of dream overexposure. Yep. Significant memory loss, both quantitative and qualitative. Shit. Hallucinations of dreaded or annoying objects. Shit. Unrealistic beliefs about the lengths of hallways and other side effects which have not yet been discovered or which cannot be understood. Perfect. Nothing like the unknown to get you awake in the morning. Haha. -ha! All right, so how am I going to do this? Oh, I know how I'm going to do this. I'm going to back my ass up. Wait. No, it's so small. All right, there's number one. Come here, dude. All right, well, wait. Oh, I can just make a duplicate. You're number two. You're number three. <laughs> well, that's just too big. That's what she said. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, uh, That'll work. Don't worry about it. Okay, you know, I could have just... Shit. Perfect. It's so organized. I know I could just right click and fix this, but I've decided that I'm not going to do that and I'm just gonna live with my mistakes. Cause I am a man. Look, it's a smiley face now. <laughs> my reticle's a smiley face. That's fine, that's great. Uh, any smilers? can't like I really want to use it like as graffiti and we got the big apple hmm so we need this to be off in order to exit Can I use this to knock it off? Knock it off! Ha <laughs> ha! 
Ha! <laughs> big, big brain. Ooh. I don't know. Number two is kind of a banger. I'm going with number two. This is some real sex music. All right, we got a big old fan. Um, something about having to have the apple rolled down, I'm guessing. I'm guessing? Oh, we need to bring an apple up here. All right, so. <laughs> Hi, I'll be here all week. I am smart. And I intended to do that exactly Warning. as you saw. Dr. Pierce is frantically submitting numerous spelling and grammar mistakes into the standard orientation protocol in a desperate attempt to counsel you. I have no subroutine to correct these errors, but I cannot compromise the integrity of the standard orientation protocol. You will not receive these messages. They would not make sense regardless. Great. I, what if I did want to receive him? You know, he's like the only person that I've ever gotten to talk to um, that seems to care about my well-being. So, what if, hear me out, you just fucking let him talk to me? He probably wants to thank me for all my hard work at checking every fire extinguisher. I told you it was like a fucking gallery. Perfect. Wait. Go ahead and suck your ass back up. Do I need to go up here? I don't think so. Hey, finally it's done. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 totally. Yeah, totally. I totally understand. Just a lot of good stuff that I, a scientist, understand. Attention. Dr. Pierce continues to input significant errors. I will interpret his basic ideas. Hello. My introductions are redundant. I am a real doctor who went to doctor school. VR has never been a mistake. I can help you, but I also do not know how. Transmission ends. <laughs> Alrighty then, that's new. Perception is reality. True. Imagine that, infinite vending machines. Okay, still in the duplicating area. That's great. Feels good, man. Hello, name is my Pierce Dr. Glenn. To the Somnusculpt welcome experience, team of your care leader patient years 10 development conditions struggle you whatever with professional invention edge science with cutting a tomorrow can bright and buts no ifs or look good and buts no if or look good i trust this doc this doc is uh Two oh eight death. You probably probably won't die. Probably, Pro right? Probably, I probably won't die. <laughs> Where are you going, Mr. Loading Bar? Great, it's seven a.m. already. Now it's actually time to get. Ooh. Finally, we get to see what's in the relaxation room. Oh, I'm gonna fucking relax. Oh, I'm, I'm, let's, it's time. Years ago.
It just loops. I'm not very relaxed right now. Won't lie to you. Let me double check to make sure I didn't miss anything over here. I did not. Great. Imagine having a theater room this big and you just play one looping, Jesus, one looping video like that. Couldn't be me. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Oh, he's fixed. This is a notification that you have reappeared on our monitoring system after a prolonged absence. Please continue to do whatever you did most recently and discontinue whatever you were doing immediately prior to that. What, looking at the relaxation room? I mean, sh sh sure. I'll, I'll I'll just hang out, I guess. No, see, cause this is back to where I just this is the bad area. I don't want to be here. And those vending machines gonna break again. Fucking great. And now we're back into the spooky zone. Dude, this is what I don't understand. Like, when people say they're homeless, just like, fucking, dude. Just build a house like that. Like, how hard was that? Just, 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 it's all perspective. Shit. It's too big. Much more manageable. <laughs> uh. Just build it. Just put it really close to you. And then, uh, and then walk away, and you're good to go. How am I gonna... Wait. How am I gonna make... Oh, I gotta make it big. Ch All right, Chungus. This is what it's like when you're like four years old. Not not even, when you're like two years old. And you've got like the hops of an NBA player, apparently. Slow down. Oh, we're playing melee. We got a CRT. Let's go. That's a fat cable. Where does that cable go to? Doctor. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In addition to continuing and discontinuing as mentioned earlier, please also disregard any unsettling experiences that you may have recently had. Everything should have now reverted to being soothing and therapeutic. If this is not the case, you may be receiving this message in error. Yeah, I mean, it's just flickering lights. Nothing's too um, upsetting about flickering lights. In my opinion, that's fine. Yeah, it's just a live wire. Nothing's too upsetting about a live wire, in my opinion. It's just a long hallway. Nothing's weird about that I'm comfortable I'm calm Jenga no wait yes definitely Jenga right hold on a fucking helicopter for sure. Wait a minute. Can I make it tiny and sound super cute? Mm. 
<laughs> the world's most useless fan ever. Um, okay. All right. Wet floor sign, another doorway. I'm wondering, hmm. They're all the same. I'm wondering if I have to make the doorway tiny. I can't, wait, do I have to use, wait, fuck, where's that fan? God damn it. I'm gonna have to make, I'm gonna have to blow that thing really far away from me, I guess. No? No? Wait, why don't I just... Wait. Why don't... Wait. Wait, what am I doing? I was thinking that I was gonna have to blow the door. What if I blew this door? I don't think I was supposed to bring this in here. Am I not supposed to? It's too big now. It doesn't even reach it. Um. Shit. No, 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 no. I need. I was gonna need, I don't know what to do here. I mean, I think I need to blow this further away from me. <sighs> no? <clears throat> I blew the door down. The door is now down. We've got a bunch of rooms with the same shit in there. Nothing that I can pick up that I can tell. I have to shrink myself down, I'm assuming, in order to get through one of the windows, maybe? How am I gonna shrink myself down? Is there something that I'm missing here? Uh, this is the only one that I've actually, wait. No, that's the place where the fan was. Fuck! Big brain time, channel your little brain energy. There's nothing I can interact with here. I literally, I can't move this. There's nothing I can do in there or here, right? They're all the same. Shit! All the windows are the same. What is the... Found one that's not the same! Ha <laughs> ha! Fuck! I'm a little boy now. I'm a little boy. Uh, I guess we're just going through. Nice. Girls always wonder what it's like in the, in the, in the boys' locker room, but this is it, ladies. This is it right here. Ha <sighs> ha! 
Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to read you my favorite inspirational quote by me. The worst thing you can do is focus on negativity. Okay. It won't spare you from the cage of death, the pain of disease, the cruelty of time, the cold shell of human nature, or the eventual loss of everything you've ever held dear. Whatever you do, don't focus on that. <laughs> Perfect. You know me, hate focusing on that. Now I bet you if I turn around, aha! Simple, five head. We're in a pool. Bouncy castle, baby. Uh, I've got to blow this up to a big old size. Wait. Let me rotate it and then... Yeah, it's probably big enough, wouldn't you say so? Is there a ladder over here? No, what I need to do is make it a little smaller. Use it as a ladder. Get over here. And then, and then, and then what? And then make it big as shit? And then go on in. Christ. Still works. <laughs> we alien isolation now, boys. Wait. Fuck! Okay, 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 okay. I gotta make it big, big. I don't know... Alright, he's small now. But then I put him outside. He is big. Wait, can't I just do this? Wait, no, no, no. Can't I just do that? <laughs> and now I just go over here. And I walk out. And now I am perfectly set up to go through the exit even though I'm one foot tall. All right. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to thank you for triggering every single one of our 823 emergency protocols. This will assist us greatly in improving the system for future patients. Congratulations. Thank you. Anyway, you're now headed in the right direction. And we should be able to initiate the emergency exit protocol shortly. Perfect. That's all I wanted to do, doctor. Ah, yes. An entirely carpeted room. I would like to be tiny. Please let me enter you. Oh, I gotta go through a keyhole. I gotta make myself giant then. Wait, now I'm super small. Wait, 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 we gotta do the other way. Go like this. I gotta make this bigger and then go through the smallest one or go through the, I need to go through this one, but I gotta make it bigger. Now I'm the height of the door. That just made me smaller. Right? Shit, hold on. There's two doors I need to scale myself up. So I need to always... What if I make this... That's too big. Is this working at all? But... 
wait. Haha! -ha! Perfect! We're getting there. Yep. Make you bigger, baby. Bigger, ba wait. You know what, dude? Fuck it. Huh. I'm going in. Wait, am I too big? Shit, I'm too big. I need to be slightly smaller. Am I too small now? I am too small. What if I did this? Okay, now... Oh no. Wait. Wait, come on. Oh! Oh, I'm cheating? Oh no! Uh. Wait, you know what I just realized? <laughs> I'm an idiot. Come here, you little you little munchkin. I can't. I need you to move. No. <laughs> I'm fucking so dumb. <laughs> I could have just done that at the start. A drop like that will kill me. It's gonna take a minute to get anywhere. God damn, I'm small. I'm so small, no. I should have brought the other door. I should have brought the other door with me. Don't worry, I'm gonna just... I ran like four miles to get here. Christ, it's a 511 sim. Uh, okay. Cardboard Lovers Association. Roll car. Wait, roll call keynote. Oh. I like how they did the loading bars. Fuck, it's 3 a.m. again. Emergency exit protocol initiated. Please okay. prepare to conclude your Somnasculpt experience in 10, 9, 8. Error. Error logged by. Orientation protocol. You son Stand of a- Stand by for analysis. You bitch. She's keeping me in here, isn't she? Error analysis complete. You are exhibiting signs consistent with an increase in fear, hopelessness, and frustration. Hmm. This is inconceivable, as somnasculpt therapy is proven to correlate with a decrease in these emotions. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, look, guys, more Hypothesis. pain. Hypothesis. Patient was improperly oriented. Conclusion. Impossible. <laughs> Reformulating. Perfect. Improved hypothesis. Patient requires additional somnasculpt therapy. Conclusion. Emergency exit protocol cannot proceed. Yeah. Emergency that's... exit protocol has been emergency destroyed. Yeah, I just feel like that's um, not. It's not good that you have the capability of doing Instruction. that. Instruction. Continue with somnasculpt therapy indefinitely on an independent basis, as all orientation resources have been exhausted. This concludes your standard orientation protocol. Goodbye. Fuck. Oh, actually, fuck. Duh. Well. And I'm done with that.
All right, we can't diddy dilly dally. Let's just haul ass. Oh shit. Oh, hell n oh. Ooh. Okay. Great. Great. I'll just, um... I'll just go fuck myself. That, then. Won't I? Ah. Let me in! Thank you. I'm out. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Thank you for completing the Somnisculpt Standard Orientation Protocol. Before you begin the first phase of therapy, I'd like to briefly describe the finite and fragile nature of the dream state. How fragile is it, really? Because I'm fragile, but not that fragile. You know? Mm. Oh, hell yeah, rice cakes? Yo, you got you guys are sleeping on rice cakes. Rice cakes are like upper echelon of snack food. Got it. Hmm. Okay. Well, I need to... Hmm. I need to do something. I need to, oh. Perfect. Even more perfect. <laughs> Fuck. You know, the space station sim's making me feel kind of weird. All right. Of course, nothing is more challenging than the difficulty of changing perspective, of fundamentally altering your perceptions in a way that will enable you to face dire, trial-by-fire scenarios with solutions that could not be found otherwise. Generally speaking, I don't enjoy trial-by-fire solutions, but um, I might just be a beta. You know? All right. Uh, in order to make this block a block, we've got to hit it from the back. Nope, we're good. Wait. Nope, all the way back. Ah! No! You cheeky, you son of a bitch. I got baited so hard. Oh, no, no. No, no, no. Um. Okay. Uh, so what if I just got out somehow, you know? Wouldn't that be zany? Wait, there's no advertisement anymore. What about my Cardboard Lovers Association? Oh, fuck yourself. I didn't need to leave anyways. Can I get out? Perfect. Uh, okay. Hmm. 
All right, what are we, what are we missing here? Can't take the exit sign. Uh, oh, one east, oh, one west. Can't go that way. Can I go up? Maybe? What if I just keep doing the same thing over and over again? Surely the- Ah! Ha! Wait. Fuck. <laughs> oh. What did I do? How did I do that? What did I do for that? Did I- Fuck! Now I'm confused! Wait, I wonder if it's the way that I looked the first... Ah! <laughs> okay, so what if I looked at... What if I look at... What if I don't look at the main door? No? And then... Hmm... Oh, four? Okay. Oh, we're, we're going up. Wait, oh, 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 okay, I see. So this is one. This is two. So which way did I look, by the way? I looked at this one. We're going here. Wait, oh, one. Oh, two. Oh! Oh, you stupid shit! You dumb, 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 dumb. You dumb, dumb. You dumb, dumb idiot. You dumb idiot. Ah, you thought you could outsmart me, and you did for a long time. But I figured you out. Uh, what is, what's going on here? Can I go swimming? Oh, you can walk across it. Right. Where'd that? Thanks, I needed that. Give it back. Give it back. Give it back. Finally, while we respect the unique progress of every patient, you must understand that it is possible to completely exhaust your supply of dreams, thereby entering a state in which you will not be able to wake up, even with the help of triggering mechanisms. That doesn't sound very cash money. So, that's a problem. Um, okay, how am I supposed to do this? Because I put it down and it was not correct, but now I can't. Figured it out. Don't you worry. I am smart man. I think. I'm running this way. I don't know what's over here, but I'm running this way. Uh, okay. What if we... 
What if we stopped following the dream protocol and we just lived in here forever? Oh, shit. Uh. <laughs> hmm. This looks like a psych ward. This is terrifying. I don't want to spend any amount of time in here. I gotta go over top, I guess, again. Minds of Moria, everyone. Shit. Alrighty. If we hit this alarm, we'll wake up. God, it's like those shitty ass. Okay, which one are we going in? It's like those mirror rooms. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Ah! Ha <laughs> ha! Please listen carefully for the sound of an alarm clock, which will automatically play if you are approaching a destabilizing dream weight. I don't hear it. It sounds like we're good to go. I'm heading out. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna fuck me up for a while. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh, cool. Staircon annual conference this week featuring guest speakers from across the stair building world. Proper flooring support, pitch lines for your pitch lines, advances in railing design, getting stairs for your stairs. Is curve the new straight? Learn know your nosing. The NSA. Hell yeah, guys. That's exactly I want to go to Staircon. It's the LAX Uber pickup lot. Oh fuck, I needed that door. Hello? Hmm, JPEG. Hmm. Where the fuck I am? All right, well, <clears throat> somebody did some really awful skybox design. That one's all fucked up. Doesn't matter. Mm. Wait, so if we have an alarm clock, why would I not? Mm. All right, so I'm going to hit the alarm clock. Everything's going to go back to normal. Perfect. Just right up. Oh, I'm taking an L. Exactly where I want to be. This is highly unusual. It appears you have entered the Sonascult diagnostic framework. Patients do not have access to this dream. I would beg to differ. Paradox Behavior 101 AK, don't do it, never. Music too dang loud, scent of burned curry, shipments of food coming here, didn't have space for more. Ask if they can hand out flyers for testing. Also ask Ryson Medical for increased canister order fre frequency. Okay, but diagnostic warning. Unrealistic use of dream objects may result in dream integrity fail state state states. Okay, so what if I conception? Uh what if I uh what if I just really fuck with everything? I am now small man. 
In oh. I see. So what if I put this inside of it? What now, game? Wait. Wait. What if I... Ha ha ha! Bitch! What now? Get- oh shit. I- uh oh. I um... I didn't- oops. Can I- I don't- Please paradox from creating any refrains. Explosive tree overload. 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 May result. Please paradox overload. This is what heaven looks like, guys. See, the music changed, everybody's happy. It's just nice. This is it. You die, you go to heaven. This is what's waiting for you. No gates, just a door with some cones. Nothing else. Wait. Well, that's kind of nice. Huh. Huh. Should we go through the not an exit sign? Yeah, why? Oh. 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 It's. <laughs> you see, it was not lying. It's not an exit. Kind of soothing, you know? A little, what is this called? Like alpha wave or whatever? Kind of soothing. Well, the good news is that Doc Hello. is still here. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and many years ago, I had a dream. I found myself in a place where I understood that each of us begins as nothing. True where everything I perceived was shaped by seeing it exactly the way I wanted to. Okay. White space. Big titty. Giant, giant titty. Fat butt. Are we in your dream? Yes? No? Pretty chill dream. Uh, I'd be down to have this one or two times. I would like to go back. Actually, I don't know, man. A little rain, uh, a little rain shower in my dream would be nice. We don't get rain in Los Angeles. It's kind of dry. Like my love life. I could be down for a little bit of rain. me female toads and minerals minerals Marie ah fuck Bible thump still works this is what happens when you run out of time to load your game with assets 
uh, okay. The only thing that's green, the only thing that has color is the not an exit sign, but I can't interact with it. Can't interact with that, that, that. Uh, okay. Maybe the vent? Eh, the vent's really high up. Doesn't hurt to try. No? Um... Reality is perception. Great. No, good, good, good. That's great. I'm just trying to figure out exactly... What about this? Aha! Where am I going? It's dark as shit. Oh. I mean, at least you got nice floors in the dream. Are we gonna have to do one of those... Uh... At this point, I'm just kind of expecting to fall through the floor because that's what's happened so many times. Wait! No, 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 no! No, I... Ha! Oh. What? What in the fuck? I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. But in white space, I also faced the greatest challenge I could imagine. Because with a lifetime of life itself behind me, and all of the weight that it carried, I realized that seeing things the way I wanted to was not as easy as it used to be. Hmm, yeah. I mean, sure. I, I guess. I can, I can relate. Who can relate? Woo! Probably wasn't supposed to go that way. Uh, exit. This way. Sure. This is just a really cool concept. I'm glad they made this game. I'm obviously like, I'm a big fan of weird walking sim slash puzzle games. It's a big old light switch. Shit, can I, can I turn it back on or? Wait, that says exit, but these say exit this way. What if I, can I exit to the left? No? All right. Wait. Wait, but I can't. Ah, uh, hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. So I can't climb up. Oh, I just walk through it, and then I'll go up the. Ah, I have such a gigantic brain. There's at least five brain cells in there. Maybe six. Oh, shit. How was I supposed to see that? Ooh. Color? There's going to be something I have to do with these windows then, isn't there? I got a check since last time we had a bunch of windows I just fucked off and it didn't work out well for me. Okay. So this just, this loops. Can't go through there. Oh! I don't know why I assumed that I couldn't just go through the white space. God, Death Stranding, looking pretty fucking sick right now. Not a, not, not a BT in sight, but. You're well beyond dreaming now, and further out than anyone has ever come back from. But we hope that you won't get discouraged. 
After all, if this is a place of pure perspective, isn't it also a place where a different point of view could make anything possible? When you put it... Isn't that why you came here? When you put it like that... When you put it like that... You see what I... You see that box? What the fuck is that? It's just like around my cursor? I don't know if it's like a skybox thing. I thought it was snow. I was about to I was about to get so high. Oh, it's a water cooler land. And I was like, hey, let's go. SSX tricky. SXS. XSXSX, whatever the game. South by Southwest tricky. Oh fuck. Okay. You want me to... Hmm. I don't know if it wants me to do anything here. Ah! Oh! Okay, sick. Ha. Ah! Oh, no! What? Alright. Let's try this out. Oh, don't throw them at me. Jesus. Oh, I'm, I'm standing on it. I'm stupid. I figured it out. Okay. I can only step on the ones. Shit. I can only step on the ones that have, have something on them. No! Okay, so I can't... What? All right, this on white, this on black. This on white, this on black, this on white. Okay, this on black, mm, you stay on there. Perfect. It only took me 19 tries. So this is a a drop. Zero. I gotta get up there, right? What if I... I just okay what am I doing here I can't go through this doorway I can't go around it I gotta go up top I made it a little too big but that's fine uh... there's got to be something I'm doing with There's gotta be something I gotta do with this, right? Wait, can I jump through the O? No. Can I go through the black? Can I go through the O? Well, what the fuck, man? Launch me up. This is, all right, let's think here. Perception is reality. Wait, did I just... Did that just turn black? I can't go around this, can't go around that, can't... Why does it say zero red and white if... What is the meaning, man? 
What is the meaning, dude? Okay. So this is the first... I'm probably thinking... I'm probably thinking too much about this. I don't know. I'm all the way against the wall. What the fuck? Yeah, what the hell? Ah, uh, it, it, it. Where the? I, I don't know. No, I don't want help. I gotta, I gotta figure this one out. This is, this is, this is the whole point of a puzzle game. Do I have to make it the same? Fuck. I'm struggling here. Uh... I made this as big as humanly possible. <laughs> so I don't think that is, I don't think that's the, the move there. Uh, I, 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 uh, hmm. Hmm. VOD viewer, skip 20 minutes in, in the future. Wait, what was that? Nothing. What? Why? What did I do? I didn't I didn't even I just had to make the door a reality by putting something through it? Oh shit. Oh game, you god damn it. Alrighty. Thanks for the big cheese. Great. Good, man. Hmm. I guess I'm going down here. I can't... can't see any, uh... Doorways? Doesn't matter. That was definitely the correct move. Okay, now what? Ooh! Perfect! I'm gonna throw up now. This is, wait, what was that game that was playing the spooky house of horrors or whatever? I'm inside the clock now. Shit. Well, it's not eight. Oh, it's eight. Okay. We're back in the home. We're back in our room. Fuck. Wait. No, 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 no. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And by now, you may have realized that all of this has happened exactly the way it was supposed to. You see, Everyone who comes to the Institute does so because they feel that they are no longer in control of something important to them. But, more often than not, the problem is not that the problems we face can't be solved. It's that we're not thinking about them right. that we become so afraid of failure that we refuse to see our problems from a new perspective. And so, we do the same things again, and again, and again. And therein, of course, we find exactly the failure we were looking for. 
Hey, that's a pretty good, you know, true. Some solid truth right there. Gonna go through all the rooms that we already cleared. Your life will always be a struggle, and you will always have problems. But today, you have the chance to see things differently. Even though it meant facing obstacles that seemed impossible at first, you thought outside the box, and you overcame them. Because you saw things from every angle, you understood them for what they really were. I mean, true, but true. Because you kept moving forward, no matter how far off the path you were told you were headed, or how unexpected it became, you found your way. It is a therapist game, though, for real. I mean, it's not wrong. But for real, why didn't you let me get more fucking sodas? In a few minutes, you'll be back in the real world. And some part of you will say that none of this was real. So how could it have really meant anything? But just like the power of perspective itself, it will have been as real as you believed it to be. All you've got to do is wait. Roll credits? Cool game. Cool game. Really cool game. A little shorter than I had hoped it would be, but definitely a cool game. I mean, I'm a sucker for this stuff. Like, Anti-Chamber 2 um, is, is great. I mean, obviously, Portal vibes. Um, uh, Stanley Parable vibes. Dope. I wish it was longer, but like, that's a good thing, you know?